Okay, in this operation, uh, we're going to take our base ring and uh, measure. You should have uh, eight sectioned out lines on your, on your ring here. And we're only going to do this in seven places because uh, uh, we want an opening for easy access to our, our uh, alternator or DC motor, whatever you're using. And so what we're going to do is right on these lines, we're going to measure 3 eighths and then 2 and 7 eighths from the outer edge of your, of your piece here. And we're going to do that in seven places on those lines. Um, and we're just going to take our, our center punch and uh, punch them all the way around. And then I'm just taking the hand drill. Um, if you like, you can go ahead and do this on the drill press, but uh, you know I can square it up pretty decently for what, what these are just going to be for uh, for screws to strengthen our our, uh, our base struts here. Um, after we glue them. So, we can just go ahead and, and drill these all the way around. Okay, so you continue around in seven places and you're going to end up with uh, a series of holes. And all those are going to be used for is uh, we're going to, um, after we glue our uh, struts there, we're just going to uh, uh, reinforce it with some deck screws, some uh, one and a half inch deck screws. We're going to come in and, and, uh, and set those deck screws <clears throat> from the back. And now while we have this, um, what we're going to do, now, now we've already drilled all these, is we're going to take our our our, uh, our uh, generator mounting ring and uh, just line it up, line the lines back uh, preferably, and uh, and we're just going to transfer those those holes. And, and the reason we're going to transfer them is because. Uh, in case you didn't lay that out real accurately, uh, we want these holes to line up top and bottom. And so, um, so we're just gonna line it up and uh, just visually is good. And go ahead and drill through to the other end. Okay, and so <clears throat> what you end up with, and, and before you separate these, make a pencil line across both of them, make a double line, so that you have them clocked. Uh, that way you can make your, uh, uh, realign your holes that, that we just transferred to the other side. Okay, and that just ensures that... Uh, um, we, we have alignment top to bottom on our, our rings and so we're gonna we're gonna in the next segment we're gonna we're gonna square up and glue these struts down before we uh, put the screws in and the reason we're gonna do that is because uh, if you just put the screws in it's gonna it's not gonna keep everything nice and square like we like it 
Okay, so we're going to go for a little more precision on that. Um, and and uh, so go ahead, uh, drill out your holes and uh, transfer them through. Uh, remember to put a pencil mark to clock your piece and uh, uh, then we'll see you in the next segment.